lights shining my way This is when I call home You are the fire I came home from work one Tuesday to find Sarah frenetically getting dressed and admittedly nervous to meet an old high school friend for a drink. This old friend just happened to be Andrew Catalano. As long as I've known Sarah, she's had a strict 9 p.m. bedtime. I was worried sick when she didn't come home that night until after midnight. The spark in her eye answered all of the questions that I had about her evening, but just in case I did have any questions about their time together that night, Sarah told me repeatedly as she got ready for bed, Andrew is just so weird, and I'm so weird, and we are just so weird together. Sarah called and said that uh, she wanted Michelle and I to have dinner with she and Andrew. I know Andrew. And I like Andrew. But I can't just not you know, grill him a little bit. And I look at the way that Andrew's looking at Sarah. I'm looking at the way Sarah's looking at Andrew. And I said, oh boy, I'm in, I'm in big trouble. There will be no grilling of Andrew tonight. There will be no grilling of Andrew forever. Oh, you look so beautiful. So cool. <laughs> An emotional day. <laughs> There's no time in his life that I've ever seen him more cool, calm, and confident than when he's with Sarah. And I think she empowers him to be more cool, calm, and confident. And again, Sarah, that's why I love you so much. Because of the way that you make Andrew be confident about himself, and it's just awesome to see. And now, affirming your vows, I shower you with rose petals so the sweet fragrances of this day will be with you throughout your happily ever after. joys be true joys may your pain be champagne and when it's not champagne at least you have good wine and each other <laughs>